Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 91 of Direwolf20's FTB Interactions Let's Play series, where I'm gearing up to keep a few buckets, at least, of oxygen in here. Does that sound, uh, Greg Techy oxygen-y? Partially yes, min mode one bucket, sure, that sounds good to me. Uh, how do we want to do up the thing? Uh, now, you've been getting diesel in here, which is cool, so we should probably be throwing, you know, a few buckets of diesel in the sky, too, right? Uh, last episode, we set this thing up, which was all kinds of loads of fun. We still have on our to-do list nitro-infused diesel and cetane boosted diesel, which will last longer, but not produce more RF a tick, according to the comments on the YouTube video that I posted. Um, so that's what we should expect to see. So now I should be able to just hook that dude up there. Now you, let's say, keep, you know, 8,000 in stock, partial yes as well. So he should snag diesel from who knows where, somewhere up there-ish. And this guy will keep diesel in stock and that'll look good, right? Oh yeah, that's what's up. That's what's up. And note that we're not using diesel uh, because we have, we're have we not really burning anything by way of, uh, you know, so let's see, outputting 2048, oxygen, duh, duh. And hey, look, oxygen's going in. Nice. So now we should be outputting more than 2048 power because we've got oxygen in there helping out. Uh, we also want to do lubricant, which was on my to-do list as well. Uh, yet another thing I got to I gotta do. Uh, I got to figure out how to do it. I kind of forget. So uh, I, I haven't recorded in a little bit. Uh, I had a big backlog for the holidays, but now holidays are over. So we are back. Uh, and and we are just chilling. So what I want to do is stick the extra ones of these dudes in here that I made Whoop. And that should be filling up pretty quickly and this guy should be producing 8,000 or 6,000 ish something Outputting 2048 EU protect why? It says oxygen amount. Yes oxygen boosted. Yes running perfectly, but we're only outputting 2048 EU protect why would that be? Pray tell, because I didn't plug in anything. That, that would be why, dire wolf. Did I not do that, or was that a, on purpose? Did I do that as an on purpose or as an accident? I forget. Is there a reason I did that? I don't even know. We're gonna, we're gonna check it out though. So no explosions, that's, you know, the good news. These guys are charging nice and quick now. So now are you reporting that you're doing something better? No. You're not even using diesel. You're not even using diesel. Forex and Deerium cable. Did I wire this stupidly? I might have wired this stupidly. Oh, I know what I did. I know what I did. I tapped you into there. That's probably not what I want to do. Probably what I want to do, because that's your output from that dude, right? That's just, a, that's just a visual glitch. Uh, so what we want to do is we want to tap it into this guy, but we also don't want to blow up this thing because this is Signalum cable coming in here. So what if we broke you? Maybe we could, what do we got? Where's, where's, the, where's the output for this dude? I've got a wrench here. There's a couple ways we could, uh, you know, crack this turkey. Yeah, well, that looks good. Okay, so that's all your Enderium cabling, right? Why Why is my Enderium cabling such a hilarious mess, by the way? Why does it look so stupid? Because of dire wire? Is that why? Yeah, probably that's, uh, that's, a, pretty, that's a pretty fair approximation of what's up. So let's keep you as the output there. And you're draining power or not really? I don't think anything's running on the on the on that tier of power at the moment. But we gotta get power into that thing one way or another without being too derpy. Right? Uh, so I'm just trying to figure out like how I wanna run it without being too dire wiry, right? Because we also have power going down there, which is feeding this bad boy. So we want to like be careful about these wires and it's also powering my blast furnace and you know among other things so wiring as usual is dyer's problem <laughs> yeah there's a reason they call it dire wire 
So what if we, like what we could do is just run it straight up like this. Cause I don't want to, I don't want those guys to touch. And I, I think you could probably like prevent them from connecting somehow, I'm sure. But you know what? We're going to have a second one of these dudes here anyway. So this isn't too dire wiry. All right, now, because you're full, you're not running. But if I did this, are you guys running now? Hey, 61.44, sweet. And we're burning up diesel and fuel. Look at that, and now he's idling. Ha ha, all right, super cool. Did you fill up already? No way, right? No way. So you're the energy output hatch. You've got no energy in you. And you stopped running because we ran out of lubricant, I would imagine. Is lubricant my problem? Yeah. I think lubricant's my issue now. So that's cool. Hey, that's kind of spiffy, right? I like that. So let's leave it as is. Get lubricant going today. And then my next goal after that will be to upgrade some of the machines that are particularly slow to the EV tier and maybe move things around. So I think that's... That sounds like a fair deal. So lubricant, I remember that not being too bad from not that long ago when I was looking at things. Talc, right, is something we needed. Uh, now let's like pay attention to what we're gonna get out of this. Talc, talc, talc. So it's always 750 lubricant. I'm looking for like, hey, there's a slam dunk better one, right? Uh, we could also distill things into lubricant. Creosote oil, seed oil, fish oil, seed oil. Right, creosote, seed, fish, and seed, all right. Uh, and then distillation tower it as well. So talc or soapstone or redstone for that matter. Talc, soapstone, and redstone seem to be like the main way to do it in a mixer. So we should probably have something in there. We could probably we could probably tap into our oil reserves, right? Or we could do a creosote oil or seed. Those are your three options, because we already have oil set up. Do we have seed oil? Can seed oil come from... I don't know. I don't think there's anything that we have super automated at this point that can do seed oil. No, not super good. And creosote, like, we know how to do that, but that's usually kind of a hassle. So I think we'll avoid that. So we'll stick with the oil, because we have that already automated. And we can go either talc or soapstone or redstone. So where do we get talc from again? Or do we want to go soapstone? I could obviously do redstone, but let's let's try. And, I'm always running out of redstone, right? Um, so soapstone comes from talc, apparently. Um, there's a soapstone vein quest. Spawns an all vio. Okay, cool. That's a neat, burrito. Uh, so soapstone is definitely an approach we could take. We could pulverize soapstone. Do we have some by chance? Not really. Um, but let's check this out. So overworld, is that where soapstone is? Olivine and Terra. It wouldn't be a completed quest, right? So barren strawberries lead to soapstone and talc ore. Well, there you go. Bada bing, bada boom. Easy peasy. Let's go explore in a little bit and see what we can find. Does that sound cool? So you can see between episodes I was making those four, uh, those, those four lapis doohickeys. So we want to find some of that. So let's check it on our map here. My map's still intact. I'm telling you, it's been a little bit since I played. Like literally, I feel like it's been almost two weeks since I recorded, I think. I think that's about right. Um, so what we're basically looking for is this strawberry stuff. Uh, barren strawberries. Uh, and the quest like I said, tells you spawns in all biomes. So we really just got to fly around and look for barren strawberries, which is like the the little stuff. So how about I fly around here for a minute? Hopefully I will find something that looks like a barren strawberry. Yeah, no, not that. Um, it's easy to find them in water biomes, by the way, because like the plants displace water. So like it jumps out when there's something missing like that. And I don't know that I've done a lot of exploring in the overworld since I've gotten access to flight. So that sounds like kind of a good idea, right? All right, let's uh, come back once I've found a little something and I should be ready to take on bad dudes. Oh, hello. I didn't even see you. 
targets acquired. All right, we're gonna we're not gonna worry about robots, and we'll be right back. Oh boy, let me tell you, you guys are lucky that I didn't record this whole segment. Oh boy, oh boy, is it taking a while to find barren strawberries is what I'm looking for, and I am not what I would call having any luck. Gotta be around here somewhere, though. Gotta be around here somewhere. So I'm gonna keep on keeping on. Maybe I'll find something else that's cool, like a dungeon or something. I don't know, we'll find out. Hey, cool, one of those crystal biomes again. Sweet. These things, these biomes look cool, and that's all I have to say about that. Actually, that's not all I have to say about that. What I will also say is that non-crystalline plants stand out a lot in this biome. So, like, if you can find a large one of these biomes, it might be a good place to find plants that you're looking for, because they really, like, they jump out, right? Like, it's obvious when there's plants there. Some of the, like, you know, when there's green ground, it's not that obvious when there's plants. I mean, if the plants are blue, sure. But, you know, when the plants are green, less obvious, right? So I'm just saying. This is what I was talking about, that displacement thing, by the way. Really makes, you know, things like that stand out, too. It's like, hey, yeah, there's definitely ores under that ground. I found it! Barren strawberry. I also found creeper dudes. All right, so that's barren strawberry. All right, sweet. Dig straight down. Target locked. Yep, target locked. You got me. Should have brought my scanner thingy, but at the very least, I can at least say I found the plant, and then we can scan for it, you know, ish. Alright. So I definitely need my scanner, but let's make the ore soapstone. And we'll come back once I get the scanner. I don't have it on me, right? I'm pretty sure I don't. Slash home. Oh, check out this cool biome. What is this place? Glacier spikes. With lava. Neat. Alright, there's that little enchanted forest thingy that had the soapstone in it. Let's find the stuff now. It should be right around here somewhere. Where's the hole I dug? It was near... There it is. Hey, there we go. There's a couple ores. What did we find? Oh, lava. Not the ideal thing to find. But we also found the soapstone we're looking for, so I'll take it. Alright, back in a minute after a little bit of mining. Can we vein mine this stuff? No, not really. All right, quest completed. Nickelback. Is that what this is? Is oh, this is no, there's soapstone in here. There's hint to head. Okay, there. Yeah, this is the one I'm looking for. It's definitely the talc, and it looks like it has a little bit of nickel in it too. But this is the main thing I was after: talc and soapstone ore, both of which will go towards making my lubricant. All right, I think I got enough for now, and we'll see how this goes. Oh, goody, it's raining. Alright, so that means I'm gonna put all you guys away as usual in my ore chest, which I still haven't like converted into this dude, but I think that's okay. Uh, and then what we're gonna do, we'll grab a bit of soapstone and a bit of talc. Uh, soapstone would be in here somewhere. Glocklinite. There it is, soapstone. And we'll process both sets of these in our macerator or processing doohickey, right? Because I'm assuming that you can, like, be pulverized into ground talc. All right, so so talc is doubled, right? And then ore washed, and then et cetera, right? And then soapstone is a 6x. Oh, that's fancy. We should do soapstone in here is really what we should do, for sure. That should be our priority, and we'll throw talc in for, like, good measure. Perfect. And that sounds cool to me. So that'll be 6x, and then you need to be washing a lot, and then you're going to thermal centrifuge, and that's all good. All right, so now it's a simple process. Let's get an HV mixer. I think that sounds cool. Okay, advanced mixer Mach 2. Bada bing, bada boom. 
All right, so let's do, I'm gonna put soapstone in there for now. How do I wanna get the oil over there? And do I wanna have a tank on top? I feel like I should have a tank on top. And we can auto output liquids. Does that sound smart? I like that idea. So let's get one of those GPS doohickeys. Do we have one of those GPS markers? Is that what they're called? Yeah, one of these guys, a GPS marker. Looks easy enough. Whoops, wrong mouse clicking. My muscle memory is all broken. Because like I said, I've been out of town for a few days. Wow, really? Not even any bone meal? All right, give me a bone. Uh, can I just pulverize you? Is that a thing? I hope. Yeah, yeah it is. Sweet. Okay, and then the GPS markers, and we'll get like enough for four. Works for me. We'll just have a few extra for later. Cool, all right, so we'll take that with us. We'll go, uh, let's mark this dude. Boy, has it been a while since I've done this. Uh, let's also request the things to make a tank. And I don't know how much of this we're gonna want, uh, but let's request the things for a tank and also request the kits, one of you and one of you. And then we'll go throw this in the oil well. Hello, oil well. That's what happens. And then you can have this dude. Uh, are, what, do what now? You can't be done. Can you be done? I guess you could be done. Yeah, I guess you are done. All right, so hold. Okay. So let's not forget this thing, because I always forget this stupid thing. But this guy's like really good about not doing a great job of clearing out the oil, but I guess he did. All right, now I have to find another oil well that hasn't been tapped into already. See, that one already has the thing going on, right? So these guys have definitely cleared out their oil wells. Now the trick here is, how am I gonna find another oil well that hasn't been tapped? Because I feel like I tapped most of them, to be honest with you. This one looks like it's not been completely tapped, but at the same time, ain't that big anyway, right? So, all right, I found another deep ocean biome way up here. So I'm gonna need to relocate my, my stuff, but it's all good. I should have brought my angel block. Let's, let's do two things. Let's, I'm assuming, I'm hoping there's more than just three oil wells here, right? Come on, you're gonna give me, you're gonna give me more than three oil wells, right? Deep ocean biome? Deep ocean biome's like, nope, you get three and that's it. All right, that's fine. Oil's not, like I gotta find a better source of oil in this pack, because it is not super everywhere-ish. But I need an angel block anyway, so let's do this. Uh, we're just gonna create an oil marker. I wanna get the teleporter -y thingy as well. So let's slash home, that looks cool, right? And then we'll see what's up. Hello. So you're with me. Ah. Now what did I do? Just craft this to itself to unlink? All right, cool. And give me the angel block. This episode is direwolf flies around a lot, but I'm doing it mostly off camera to be fair. All right, so where were you at oil? You're, you're, you're this way, right? Oh yeah, that's not far. That's not far. Back in a minute. All right, so this will have to do, right? So let's just do, that seems cool to me. It's so hard because it's like so black, it's almost hard to see what you wanna see. So you, let's not forget the range add-on. Let's give you the powers. That makes you a happy camper. That means you're getting oil and you're getting it from deep. And then fluid conduit. And then fluid transfer dude. And then not insert, but extract. You're getting oil. And you're gonna send all the oil out. Beautiful, beautiful. 
All right, now if we slash home again, which eh, we can't use for another minute and a half, I think it's probably faster to fly home. Does that probably sound about right? Yeah, before I can slash home again. Yeah, let me just fly home and we'll be right back. Oh, you know what I wanted to do? Hang on, before I did that, I want to get my angel block back. And the crystal is now linked to this location. Haha, -ha. I knew I was going to forget that too. All right, back in a minute. Hey, look, this dude is making lubricant. And he's getting oil. Well, that's exciting. Oh, I didn't chunk load. That's okay. I can teleport back out there and chunk load and teleport home now. I was like, why ain't he doing oil anymore? He got a little bit. Oh, right. Chunk loading. Like I told you, Dyer derps a little bit when he's taking a few days off, you know? It's just how it goes. Just how it goes. So this is wilderness. This is Dyer 20. Now I should be able to slash home. Nice. And now we should be getting lots of lubricant, it looks like. At least a semi-decent amount for all the soapstone and whatnot we got. Yeah, decent amount of lubricant for sure. Like, that's a really good amount. How's our tank looking? So I think I probably... I don't think we need a lot of lubricant. Unless I'm wrong. But I don't think we need a lot. So I'm going to leave those upgrades dudes there. And let's get the wrench that I've got. You're going to wrench upwards. And you're gonna do, do, and that looks cool. And you're going to fluid output enabled. Haha, -ha, beautiful. And then you, sir, should become a basic pipe. And then we want a fluid provider and a fluid supplier. Fluid supplier, fluid provider, and a basic logistics pipe or several. Because uh, I want to replace you with a basic. And then we will do fluid. Provider, provide fluids to the network. Always kind of forget that. And then, I don't know where you think you're going, but I think that was some other fluid. And then you can be supplier, and you're gonna be lubricant. 2000 partial yes. And then what we should see happen is this guy can run again because he receives his lubricant. In theory, as soon as you decide that lubricant's allowed to come in here. I think that's it coming now, right? Nope, I lied. Definitely not lubricant. Hello, lubricant. Wherefore art thou lubricant? Did I use the wrong kind of pipe? Fluid provider. Yeah, that's you. You provide lubricant. Is that the kind of lubricant I put in here? I assume there's nothing else called lubricant. Hey, yeah, no, it got it. Nice. And it uses lubricant super slowly. Like, see how much lubricant's being used here? Barely any. That's cool beans. And we're producing 6144U per tick. Now that that's all under control, which is looking good, by the way. Are you, did you stop or what? Like, uh, I feel like you should be continuing to go. Because this thing should be filling up pretty quickly. Yeah, it is too. Nice. Nice. All right. Beautiful. So you're going to use diesel probably relatively fast. Yeah, he burns through diesel pretty quickly. He burns through lubricant very slowly, diesel very quickly, uh, and oxygen, eh, not that fast. So diesel's really the, the chugger there. So now let's look at how would we want to automate the cetane boosted stuff, right? So that's not super automated, right? Realistically, what I should do, um, if we're being fair about this, uh, lubricant stuff but we got so much of it from one stack of soapstone and we're getting a lot of soapstone so I think it's okay to say what we're gonna do is just manually stock this for now and uh, at some point in the future when we run out of lubricant we'll think about automating it but like look how much stinking lubricant we got I think we're gonna be fine all right so as a refresher this stuff is not hard to make it's just liquid starlight with cetane boosted fuel and a little tiny insignificant barely noticeable in jei amount of lithium dust but i think we have like infinity billion lithium dust is that the right yeah yeah i think we're gonna i mean we're like all right it's not infinity billion but it's a lot it's a lot of lithium dust and for that i think we are cool yeah we're pretty good at, we have something automating lithium dust because i only put these dudes up here when something's automating it but it's a tiny pile of lithium dust so, you know, that's, you know, you, you turn lithium dust into nine of those. So we've got nine times that amount. So we got a lot. 
Um, the tricky stuff is the cetane boosted one because that needs uh, either biodiesel or diesel. So we got diesel already. Tetra nitro methane. All right, so that's the that's the that's the stuff we need to make. So we can make that with ethanone and nitric acid, or ethanone and nitric acid, or we can make it with ethanone and glowstone dust. Hmm, you don't say. I mean, we can at least look at what what nitric acid looks like. Nitric acid, right? And I kind of wanted to see like, is there a difference between these guys? Not really. And you get a lot of water for that, so we should plan to avoid it. So I can't imagine we're going to want that water. We won't get water if we use glowstone, though. Not a bad idea. We're going to see how bad nitric acid is. Let's consider that. So that's electrolyzed nitration mixture or chemically reacted water with nitrogen dioxide. Mm, not bad. Ammonia and oxygen. Oxygen, nitrogen dioxide, and water. Oxygen, nitrogen, and hydrogen. It's not terrible. Yeah, nitrogen dioxide is probably just nitrogen and two oxygens, right? So we could probably do that. And I have no idea, no idea what kind of fluids we're producing over here automatically. Because I know there's like a handful of fluids we have on Autocraft. And honestly, I've lost track of most of them. Come on, let me add another thing. Uh, over here we're producing, is this all oxygen? I think it is, yes. Just want to make sure I have a stock of like what I'm actually making over here. This is fluxy stuff. You're making nitrogen dioxide. So we're already making nitrogen dioxide. That's promising. That's promising. And if we wanted to, we could tank that if it turns out that we need, you know, more of it. So nitrogen dioxide being already made is very promising because then it's just water plus nitrogen dioxide and you get nitric acid with nitric oxide. Okay, that's not terrible. Kind of like that idea. And then what do we use nitric oxide for? It can be electrolyzed back into nitrogen and oxygen, or we can just void it. So I like that. I like that a lot. The only thing is for this tetranitromethane, we need a lot of nitric acid. So we'll probably need to ramp up our nitrogen dioxide. But like, that shouldn't be too much of a problem, right? Maybe, we'll see. All right, so follow me on this. I can make glowstone in a starlight infusion altar with gunpowder and I can make gunpowder with pristine creeper matter. Hmm? That would be cool. So why don't we do it that way? Just for fun. But ethanone is still a thing. So I'm kind of flipping through all the different ways to do this. And ultimately it's either make acetone, which is calcium acetate solution, which is acetic acid and quicklime dust which just seems like a lot of work. Ethylene, I think we have that automated, right? And oxygen, but it's like a small amount that we'll get out of it and uh, it doesn't sound all that. I don't think that's the right way to go. I think the good way to go, acetic acid, uh, where are we at? Ethanone, yeah, no, we want ethanone, right? So acetone, I don't think is the good way to go, right? I don't think that's a good approach. Sulfuric and acetic acid might be doable. I've been kind of flipping through how these are made. Do we already have sulfuric acid? We might. I feel like we do somewhere. See, what I should have really done is made sure that every time I set up like an automated fluid production line, that, you know, things and stuff were going well. So, total tetranitro method, blah, 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 blah. I feel like you're low on salt or something over there, buddy. Oh yeah, you're stone dust. Stone dust definitely clogs up this system a little bit. I gotta watch out for that. But I feel like if we give this system salt, something good will happen. I'm assuming we're low on salt. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit. Um, but we could go that route. Now, a way to get ethanone I'm liking the acetic acid and sulfuric acid because here's two things we could do. Sulfuric acid, we can make in a chemical reactor. With sulfur dust. And sulfur dust, I think we have a lot of. And if not, we can get it from... Something cool. 
Centrifuge? No. Electrolyzer. We can electrolyze blaze powder, which we can get from blaze rods. Or we can just well we can just get from pristine blaze matter. That would be cool. And we get a lot of it. So that would be that guy, right? Um, and then acetic acid we can get from carbon dust, which I think we have a lot of, right? Oxygen, hydrogen, do we have a lot of carbon dust? That's silicon dust. Carbon dust, we've got 64 stacks of. Booyah, that's what's up. I like it, I like it. Now, did we already automate blaze rods? Because we're making lots of pyrothium dust. So does pyrothium need blaze dust in this pack? Kind of forgetting. Uh, uh, Mixer makes it, but you can also get it straight up from the primal enriched eggs. Okay, so I think that'll be our, our play, right? We'll use the carbon dust that we already have to make uh, ethanone. Right, uh, from, we'll make the acetic acid for ethanone. We'll use blaze rods from a blaze doohickey to make sulfuric acid. And then we'll get a creeper doohickey going to make lowstone dust. And that'll be our path to tetranitromethane. I like that. And that involves automating astral, it involves, you know, doing some more fluids and automating uh, these guys, finally. And we wouldn't need a lot of these, right? I don't think we would need a lot of these. Do we have a Blaze data model? So if we looked at uh, deep mob learning, we do have Blaze. I don't think we have a creeper, but we could probably get a creeper, right? Uh, and that would be cool. That would be cool. Let's get a stack of polymer clay. Shouldn't be hard, shouldn't be hard. Just a bit of clay and something else I forget. But it's, I think, already done, so that's even cooler. I think you're down here somewhere, right? Yeah, polyethylene ingots and clay equals polymer clay. Half a stack at that, which is cool. All right, so that's our play. All right, I think I've got this all kind of settled, right? So we got carbon dust. We're going to get blaze powders from this to get infinite sulfuric dust. How are we for sulfur? Actually, we have a lot of sulfur. Maybe we start burning the sulfur that we've got, and then we'll do this. So yeah, we'll start with that, um, and we'll get more sulfur if we really need to automate the stuff a little bit later down the line. I think the key there, though, definitely, we definitely have to automate uh, gunpowder, which will be a huge important step that we can then turn into, we can automate turning it into glowstone. Does that all seem fair? I think that seems fair. All right. I like it. I like it. See, I, this series is a little different, right? There's definitely aspects of like Dyer figuring out the path with you guys. Tell me if you like that. Do you like me explaining the complex path that we're following so that you have context around what we're automating? I feel like that makes sense, but also it's like 10 minutes of me talking and figuring stuff out. So like, is that less exciting? Or is that like, yeah, I like that you do that because it gives me some context on what you're working on. I don't know, let me know in the comments. All right, so what I'm gonna do now um, is wrap up this episode. We'll come back next time. We'll look at getting the Starlight Infuser automated for uh, Gunpowder to Glowstone. I think that might be cool. Or I could just mine a bunch of Glowstone, but I, I kind of like the idea of, of automating it, right? And I'll just see if there's any other uh, Glowstone automation things that I missed. The only other one that I noticed, I don't see a way to get Glowstone unless I can get this stuff. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I was hoping there was like a pristine matter form of making glowstone, but I'm not seeing it. The only thing I'm seeing is we can get witch hats. Can I get this stuff from anything cool? Not really. How about this stuff from anything cool? Alchemy array? Meh. No, no, no nothing good. No, nothing good. Uh, the only thing I see is you can get three witch hats yields a glowstone dust, but like... Each witch hat is a pristine matter, so that means, like, each pristine matter is, like, two glowstone dust, and that does not seem like a win, right? That does not seem like a win at all. Um, yeah, not even a little bit. And I didn't see anything else that really jumped. Like, there's the phytogenic insulator, but then we'd have to get, like, phytogrow going on. Pfft, that sounds kind of meh. Uh, you know, I could double it with thalmcraft, but that's going to cause a lot of taint, and that would probably be bad. Uh, that doesn't sound ideal. 
right? There's there's some pulverization, but most of it's just stuff and a little bit of redstone. That's not where you want to be. Like, we're looking for automation, right? Item disassembly, nope. So really, I think gunpowder from, um, you know, pristine creeper matter, you get a stack of gunpowder each, and that's going to equate into a stack of glowstone dust, which is cool, right? The only thing you could say is you could get, like, gunpowder from redstone, but I think the pristine matter is definitely the way to go. So that's what we'll look at automating in the next couple episodes. For now, Devil20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and take it easy.